Are all SD cards created equally? Of course not. We have seen through the years several advancements in card technology and some users have experienced different levels of quality from one brand to another. As UHS-2 has become more prevalent, I have noticed a significant swing to lower costs for new cards, especially in UHS-1. Team Group is a brand that continues to grab my attention. Since I was in the market for new cards, I thought to dive further into their offerings. For today's video, we're going to evaluate four cards from Team Group, starting with their classic, all the way through their most recent UHS-2 Extreme card. To ensure a good test, I did pick up a new UHS-2 card reader using a USB 3.0 interface. First, let's establish a comparison with an older SD card, which was rated for read speeds of 80 megabytes and 10 megabyte write speeds. I chose to do this test for the purpose to establish how far technology has advanced, not necessarily to show the card's lower performance. Our first card from Team Group is 128 gigabytes in size. This will be the same for all the cards. First, we'll start with their classic lineup. The card is rated at 80 megabyte read speeds and 15 megabyte write speed, similar to the previous card. To some surprise, the card exceeded its own advertised specs, especially when writing data. Let's look at a direct file transfer to the card. Moving to the Elite card, it's rated for 90 and 45 megabytes respectively for its read-write speeds. Again, we see the card exceed the advertised specs at 96 and 63 megabytes. One could observe that the two cards perform equally the same. The only difference is the sticker identifying them. How will the Pro card perform? Let's find out. Rated with a read speed of 100 megabytes and a write speed of up to 90 megabytes, the card is really meant for owners of 4K cameras and of the such. Unfortunately, the card does fall short of the advertised speeds, but only by a small margin. Personally, I never expect a memory card or storage device to perform exactly as advertised. That's why in the literature you often see the phrase up to prior to any advertised number. No, all three UHS-1 cards, while advertised with different specs, are performing very similar in real-world results. Before doing these tests, I had a suspicion. I was using my photography camera, filling the buffer, and observing how quickly the card would write. Coincidentally, all three cards perform nearly identically. To be fair, this is not a bad thing, it just made me wonder. Let's turn our attention to the last card, Team Group's UHS-2 Extreme. Here, we knowingly are going to see a jump in performance. Rated at 250 megabytes per second for reading and up to 120 megabyte write speed, this card is more ideal for the high bit rate, more megapixel applications that are creating a lot of files with large file sizes. This was my first time looking closely at the performance of a UHS-2 card. Having spent so many years using the other cards, I was amused by how fast the file transfers can become. You can see the card again performs in line to what is being advertised, if not exceeding it. At the end of the day, that's all that we can ask for out of any one of these cards, and Team Group delivers on that front. So what are my final thoughts? If you're in the market for any new SD cards, might they be UHS-1 or 2, Team Group has a selection to choose from. While in-camera, performance is more at the mercy of what type of card is supported. If you're using gear from years past or until most recently, there is no need to buy a UHS-2 card. The user will never see a difference in performance 
except when doing a file transfer from the card to the computer. Even then, one will be relying on what kind of card reader is being used. Looking specifically at the three UHS-1 cards, while different, they are performing nearly the same, especially in camera. If price is not an issue, sure, go ahead and pick up a card in the Pro line. But if considering the best value to performance, I would recommend the middle of the road with an Elite card. In any case, it's been fun to see how far the cards have come in capacity and in speed, especially if you can relate to when one gigabyte cards was considered big. Yes, there are faster UHS-2 cards on the market, but for an entry-level card, I like the performance that the Extreme card provides, especially at the price, which is a big consideration for me. Professionally, clients don't care what type of storage device the content sits on or how fast it transfers. What about brand reputation? While nearly everyone is familiar with big names like SanDisk, Team Group is growing and I've found their marketing to be straightforward and the pricing to be very favorable. Have you used any of the cards from Team Group? If so, what have been your experiences? That's it for today. If you found this video providing some insight, I'd appreciate a hit on the like button. At the same time, if my approach to the discussion was of interest, please consider subscribing to the channel. With the channel's growth, I'd like to continue to make more videos. Thanks for watching.